Namco pulls off the same full motion video magic in Xevious 3D G+. What a name for a game, don't ask us what it means. Just for kicks, listen to this. If you're a long time gamer, you'll recognize this music from the original Xevious. In fact, this is the original Xevious. The game includes not only the new 3D game, but the original, the re-release of the original, which is slightly harder, and the so-called arranged version. These old fogey games are nice extras, but the real meat here is Xevious 3D. The game is just as impossible to beat as all the titles before it, even on the easy setting. The game controls are exactly the same as the other three games. One button for air-to-ground missiles, another button for air-to-air -air missiles. Namco gets a big thumbs up for including much more exciting weapons in Xevious 3D. You get these weapons from the power-up icons which appear after you blow up structures on the ground. The best weapon is the spazzy spidery laser weapon which locks onto several targets all at once. You can kick some major butt this way. Perhaps this is the best video game weapon of the year. Alright. The 3D element of Xevious makes the boss spaceships look a bit better, but the graphics are still not up to snuff. They're not awful, but they could use some work. Look at the water here. See how it's all one color with no texturing, no movement? Is this the Atari 2600 or what? Xevious 3D G+, I hope I don't have to say that thing again, is a mildly fun game, but because of the high challenge, which is normally an asset, and the lack of variety in gameplay, this game is mediocre at best. But it's good mediocre, not bad mediocre. Well, whatever, y you know what I mean. Namco makes pretty decent games, but these two titles are not the company's best.